Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome for the class. How how is it going, people? How are you doing? Fine, excellent, Fine. so so. Excellent. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for your confirmation and welcome for today's class. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, just to make a reminder. Uh, yesterday for the username, I see that uh, all of you are doing great on that one. Thank you so much. And just remember also to continue working in the platform. Today I was checking and I could see that some of you already started on the platform. Some of you are still missing to start on that. So please, I just need your collaboration to check on the platform, on the learning platform. Please, 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 please. Eh, nada más. Eh, bienvenidos a todos. Igualmente, gracias por el uso de cámaras e igualmente por tener su usuario configurado con su nombre completo según su identificación personal. Muchas gracias. Comentarles que estuve revisando eh, la plataforma, la plataforma de aprendizaje. Ya vi que algunos ya comenzaron a trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, ya comenzaron a hacer, por lo menos eh, veo algunas personas que ya hicieron su, la sección número uno. Eso es muy bueno porque es lo que se espera que vayamos completando. ¿verdad? Igual al finalizar esta semana un número uno, debemos eh, completar eh, tarea uno, tarea dos, así igualmente como mi compañera ese día les compartió por el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes tengan el dato de cómo se espera que usted vaya progresando. Ese es como el mínimo progreso, ¿verdad? Que se espera de ustedes. Como les comentaba, si usted puede avanzar en la plataforma, dele, no problem, right No hay problema si usted gusta avanzar con la plataforma, incluso terminarla en la semana 2 o en la semana 1, no problem. So that is what we expect uh, from, from you, right? We expect that you work and you complete and you work on that one. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me see. Let me get started on today's uh, presentation so we can get some information for today. Just give me a second. Oh, and also in the meantime, I will check on attendance as well. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of today's class. Let me get started at this moment. Uh, let's see Alberto Enrique. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Noemi Hernandez. Present teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Brian Isaac. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Fernando Present. Montillo. Mm -hmm. Present. Thank you. Carlos Heriberto Hernández. Present teacher. Great. Thank you. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Present. Thank you. I continue with Cesar Alejandro. Present teacher. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Claudia Lisset. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then Christian Gerardo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, let me see. Eliane Heriberto. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Stephanie Giselle. Present. Thank you, Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Eunice. <coughs> Miss Gabriela Eunice. Right, I continue. Gerson Antonio. Gerson Antonio. Not yet, I continue. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Thank you, thank you. Jose, Jose Samuel Rodriguez. Present teacher. All right, perfect. Eh, Marcos Javier Jiménez. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles Guerra. Present teacher. 
Thank you, thank you. Uh, Maria Magdalena Sigüenza. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you. Gustavo Garcia. Present. Thank you, thank you. Then Jancy Saray. Present. Great, great. Uh, Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. And I have Jennifer Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much, people, for your confirmation of today's class. Let's see. Let's get started and let's get into business. As you know, today we have session number two, and we continue working on the section that goes by the name, what are you going to do? Yesterday, we were checking on some contents, and let's have some review before we get started. Tell me, what were we talking about yesterday? What do you remember about yesterday's practice? Ordinal numbers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Date of birthday. Thank you. That's fine. Perfect. We checked on ordinal numbers. As, 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 mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Months of the year. Thank you. And also we were talking about some information about birthday and also information for different specific dates or festivities or anything that is related with dates. Thank you so much. That's really good, really good. All right, now today we continue checking on some information and today we incorporate the element of going to, we incorporate it with dates, with the information we already know. Let's see. In this case, people, we have some questions that we can ask in order to obtain information about plants. And for this one, we can include the structure about going to. And let me show you the first example. The first example goes like this. And in this case, we can make a question that goes by the answer yes or no. And actually, they are called yes, no questions. Because in this case, you are going to respond either yes, I am, or no, I am not. For example, let's think about this one. And I will be asking some people. Let me see, Jan Cisaray, I have a question for you. Tell me, are you going to uh, visit your family next week? I don't know. <laughs> All right, but let's imagine, right? Possible answer. Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Just for practice. No, I'm not. All right, thank you so much. I have other question and I will choose other person to participate. Carlos Manuel, tell me, are you going to play soccer tomorrow? No, I'm not. All right, no, I'm not. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, Alberto Enrique, tell me, are you going to cook? for lunch tomorrow? Yes, I am. Ah, perfect, that's very nice. Thank you, thank you. Claudia Lisette, I have a question for you. Tell me, are you going to watch a movie after this English class? Check on the microphone, Claudia Lisette. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue with more questions. Jose Samuel, tell me, are you going to listen to music at night? Uh, no, I'm not. Right. No, I'm not. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Jamie Rosivel. Tell me, Jamie Rosivel, are you going to clean the house on the weekend? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, perfect. Carlos Heriberto, I have a question for you, mister. Tell me, are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I am. All right, all right. Question for everybody. Are we going to have class on May 10th? Yes, we are or no, we are not? No, we are not. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And the rest, what's your idea? What do you think? Are we going to have English class on May 10th? Comments, comments. What do you say? ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Vamos a tener clase el 10 de mayo? Yes, we are. Or no, we are not. No, no we're not. not. No, we're not. I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, are you not. sure? <laughs> Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. Vacation. Yes, hey, but we just started. Si vamos iniciando ya quieren vacación, people, come on. I know, no, no, don't worry. I know. It's sure, for sure, we're going to have vacation. So we are not going to have classes on May Tenth, right? No classes for us. That's vacation. And as you may see in this one, we can create questions. In this case, yes or no questions to discover or to confirm some plans about people. Ve que acá estamos formando preguntas y por el going to, pues obviamente estamos hablando de planes a futuro, ¿verdad? Es lo que estamos eh, estamos enfatizando en esta oportunidad y por el modelo de pregunta. En este caso, nos sirve un tanto para hacer una confirmación de algo, ¿verdad? Diferente que yo le preguntara, ya vamos a ver el otro modelo, que yo le preguntara, ¿qué vas a hacer tal día? Ah, entonces ahí, ese tipo de pregunta nos permite una abertura de dar más detalles, ¿verdad? De ahí ya, I am going to cook, I am going to go to the beach, I am going to sleep, I'm, I am going to watch a movie, and different ideas that you can express, but that is an open question, ¿verdad? Esas se conocen como preguntas abiertas porque nos da cabida a dar muchos detalles, mientras que este modelo que estamos viendo es un tanto para confirmación, ¿verdad? Es como, ¿vas a hacer esto? Sí, lo voy a hacer o no lo voy a hacer, ¿verdad? Y ahí preguntamos, are you? But let's have some review in this one. Imagine that I change on the subject, right? And I change you for he, right? Is it possible to say, are he going to, or what is the correct, or what is the other version, or any other idea that you have? What do you think? Si cambiamos el sujeto, la ahí yo tengo en, el, en la pregunta, es como una pregunta directa. Si usted va a hacer algo, are you? Pero si yo cambiara el sujeto y digo he, ¿será que continúo con el, el verbo are? Are he? No, 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 sería is, is, is he, he. is he, all right, excellent, thank you, that's the compliment, is he, and then going to, check that the rest of the sentence is going to be the same, just the first part is going to change, that means the verb to be with the subject can change, depending on the subject, vea que ahí vamos a poder cambiar el modelo de pregunta, pero todo va a depender de el sujeto, ¿verdad? Si yo, porque en el sujeto yo tengo you, entonces le acompaña, usted ya conoce que el verbo to be para you es are. Are you. Como ustedes mencionaban, he. Entonces ahí decimos is he. ¿verdad? Ese es el modelo a utilizar. What about if we have they? Si tuviéramos el sujeto they, ¿qué verbo utilizamos? ¿Cómo inicia la pregunta entonces? Are they? All right. Are they? What about if we have, let's see, if we have it? What is the question? Is it? Is it? All right, thank you. Is it? That's correct. Ahí vamos con is it. What about if I have the subject we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Perfect. Perfect. Check on this one. What if I have the subject, my brother? What is the question if I include my brother? Si tuviera mi, my brother como sujeto, ¿cómo quedaría la pregunta? Is, 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 is my brother. Is my brother, brother. All right. Brother, All brother. right. Thank you. Now, my brother and my sister, what is the question? Are they? Are, are they? Are, 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 Mm -hmm. oh, exactly. Are they? Or if we want to continue with the same information, we can say, are my brother and my sister going to, right? There is no problem on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I want you please to think about um, a question, only one, one example question using this model. 
and I will give you the chance to ask the question to one of your classmates at this moment. Remember to follow the same structure. Are you going to, and then you need a verb. Vea el modelo que tenemos ahí en pantalla, ¿verdad? Todas nuestras preguntas o la que vamos a formular, solo vamos a hacer una por este momento de práctica. Siempre ni sería, are you going to? De ahí incluimos un verbo. Ahí usted puede variar el verbo que quiera, ¿verdad? Are you going to cook? Are you going to sleep? Are you going to work? Are you going to go? Are you going to play? Y el complemento, pues usted igualmente lo puede incluir. And try to give a, a time reference as well, because we're talking about future plans. Como estamos hablando de planes a futuro, note que ahí necesitamos una referencia de tiempo, la que ya sea mañana, más tarde, la siguiente semana, el siguiente mes, el siguiente año. Se descoge cuál podría ser una referencia de tiempo de acuerdo con lo que usted desea confirmar de algunos de sus compañeros. All right? Uh, do you have a model question? ¿Ya tienen una pregunta en mente? Yes. Perfect. I have a question. Ah, go ahead, tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, y en caso de ser eh, una pregunta eh, de este momento, ¿Mm? ¿vas a hacer algo en este momento? Ah, entonces tal vez pudiéramos incluir la expresión at this moment or right now, ¿verdad? Pudiera ser en ese yeah. caso, exacto. Are you going to do anything right now? ¿Vas a hacer algo en este momento? Entonces ahí sí, ¿verdad? Ah, I am going to, I am going to sleep, I am going to drink soda, I am going to call my friend. Es posible utilizarlo, ¿verdad? Porque ahí estamos hablando de un tiempo que está próximo a cumplirse, pero siempre es en el futuro, ¿verdad? Porque no lo está haciendo, la, la acción no lo está haciendo la persona, ¿verdad? No es como, ¿qué estás haciendo ahorita? Sino, ¿vas a hacer algo en este momento? Yes, es posible. Are you going to do anything right now? Mm -hmm. That's valid. Let me see. Let me ask on some people. Let me choose on... Mm -hmm. All right, let me choose on Marcos Javier. Hello, Marcos Javier. Hello, hello. Hello. All right, perfect. I need your help. I need your help to choose one classmate of the video conference and to create a quest to that person. Okay? Necesito que escoja a quien usted guste de la videoconferencia y le haga la pregunta que usted ya tiene en mente. Okay. Siempre siguiendo Lo el modelo. Siento que hace no se escucha. All right, Tengo... all right. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. All right, I will give you the chance later on. Le voy a dar la chance. Dígame, dígame. Voy a repetir lo que dijo, por favor. Sí, sí, no problem, no problem. Vamos a hacer algo. Estamos, cada uno está pensando en una pregunta que formular utilizando el modelo en pantalla. Entonces, eh, Marcos, necesito su colaboración para que escoja a alguien de la clase, a quien usted guste, y le formule una pregunta utilizando el modelo. Are you going to? Usted le dice un verbo, un complemento, y me le pone una, eh, una expresión de tiempo de referencia. Yo le pudiera dar mi ejemplo. Are you going to play basketball next month? Podría ser un ejemplo, pero usted tiene otro por ahí, así que le solicito su colaboración. Está bien. Um, podría ser a José Samuel. Ok, perfecto. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Creo que él está. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. no problem. Ask the question, no problem. Samuel, are you going to play soccer next weekend? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I am. All right, perfect. Thank you. Jose Samuel, now it's your turn to ask the question to other classmates, please. Uh, Oscar Armando. Thank you. Yes. Are you going to work tomorrow? No, I am not. All right, all right, thank you. Check on this one. Are you going to, right? Are you going to work? Going to work. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oscar Armando, I need your help to ask one question to other classmates, please. Yes, sir. Is the man in room tomorrow? Are you going? Remember, are you going? Siempre continuamos con el modelo, are you going? Mm -hmm. 
Are you going to run to run tomorrow? All right, thank you, thank you. And who was the person? Eh, si me repite el nombre, ¿quién le formuló la pregunta, por favor? Yancy. Yancy All right. Sarah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Are you going to run tomorrow? To run. To run, I guess. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. All right, thank you. Jancy, other question to one of your classmates, please. And um, are you going to... Study weekend, Marvin. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. All right. Are you going to study on the weekend? Right. Are you going to study on the weekend? All right. Thank you, Marvin. Final question for this for this part, please. Formule la última pregunta a alguien en el grupo para esta primera parte de práctica. Okay. Eh, Marcos Javier, mm -hmm. are you going to eat fruits today? Are you going to eat fruits? Fruta, verdad? Fruits. Oh, sí, sí. Ah, okay. okay, perfect. Yeah. Are you going to eat fruits? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. All right, that's nice. Thank you so much, people, for the first part in this practice. Thank you so much. You see, we can ask questions to confirm information about future plans. Just follow this model. Vea que ahí tenemos el primer modelo, como les comentaba, para confirmar cierta información, ¿verdad? Porque ahí nosotros tenemos tal vez una idea o quisiéramos averiguar si alguien va a realizar algo, algo específico, ¿verdad? Hey, vas a jugar mañana, vas a trabajar, ¿verdad? Ya damos nosotros una idea y se espera que la persona pues lo confirme, ¿verdad? Ya sea que sí va a realizar algo o que no va a realizar algo. Uh, questions about this model, this model part? Preguntas de ese modelo de pregunta? Yo no tengo puedes. una pregunta, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Cuénteme, dígame. Eh, digamos cuando usted quiere poner Are you going to eh, go? Uh -huh. eh, o se escribe, digamos, go eh, the park eh, with friends uh -huh. va Va with friends o, o va al final? Si sí, quiero decir que, di, que dice with friends next week, uh -huh. va a ir with friends antes del next week o después del next week? All right. Generalmente las expresiones de tiempo que sería next week, generalmente la pode, las podemos posicionar al final. La, las, uh, las expresiones de tiempo tienen diferentes posiciones, pero podríamos, eh, como más, más general, digamos, utilizarlas al final. La pregunta pudiera quedar, are you going to go to the park with friends next week? Entonces la expresión de tiempo la podemos eh, poner en la última posición, no hay problema. Gracias, teacher. All right, my pleasure, my pleasure. Is there any other question? All right, probably not at this moment. So let's move on to the next part. In this case, we have other model question. And for this one, we have a different model. As you may see, in this one, we include a WH word. In this case, we begin with what? Right? What are you going to do? And in this case, the general verb to create a question is do, right? Different from the other one. In the first model, we need to include a specific verb. Are you going to cook? Are you going to sleep? Are you going to wash? Are you going to, uh, are you going to visit? Are you going to study? In that case, the verb is going to be, is going to change depending on what you want to confirm. And opposite to this one, the verb, the general verb that we include is do. Ve que acá, en el segundo modelo, para averiguar, es una pregunta abierta y para averiguar detalles de qué va a realizar una persona en cierta fecha. Entonces, en ese caso, el verbo que utilizaríamos como fijo, si le queremos eh, 
denominar de esa forma, sería el verbo do. No vamos a cambiarlo en este caso. No podríamos decir what are, bueno, si sí pudiéramos decir what are you going to cook, ¿verdad? ¿Qué vas a cocinar? Eso sí es posible. What are you going to play? Si sí pudiera hacerse en ese caso, pero quiera o no, si ya le ponemos el verbo, es como que ya estuviéramos eh, de cierto modo limitando, ¿verdad? Porque ya sabemos que la persona va a cocinar. Mientras que acá, si yo digo what are you going to do? Entonces, ¿qué vas a hacer? ¿verdad? Yo no tengo ninguna idea, tal vez no quiero, no sé, ¿verdad? Específicamente una acción y quisiera que la persona pues me dé un poquitito de detalles. Y en este caso, ¿verdad? Solo vamos a poner una, una fecha o una, una ocasión especial, algo de referencia. What are you going to do for, uh, for Christmas? What are you going to do for uh, Independence Day? What are you going to do for, en este caso, cuando decimos el for, le acompañamos de una fecha, ¿verdad? Algún día especial. What are you going to do for your Christmas? Y si quisiéramos dar alguna fecha específica, what are you going to do on May 10? Ahí si el for lo cambiamos por el on, cuando ya hacemos referencia a una fecha calendario tal cual, ¿verdad? No, no una festividad. But let me uh, ask on some people so you can practice on this one. And the possible answer, I am going to, I am going to sleep, I am going to visit, I am going to call, I am going to play video games. You can respond in that way. Let me see. Let me ask on some people. And I will ask on, 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 on Damaris. Damaris Mabel, I have a question for you, Miss Damaris. Tell me, what are you going to do for Mother's Day? Ya que lo tenemos algo cerquita. What are you going to do for Mother's Day? Eh, me preguntó cuál es el día de las madres, ¿verdad? No, en este caso vamos a preguntar, si fuera cuál es el día de las madres sería When is Mother's Day? Ve que aquí hemos cambiado un poquitito la pregunta. What are you going to do? ¿Qué va a hacer el 10 de mayo? Eh, I am going to um, eat. <laughs> Eat and restaurant. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you. Let me ask on more people. Let me see on Gustavo Garcia. Tell me, Gustavo, what are you going to do for Mother's Day? Igual, la misma pregunta. Siempre la, voy a mantener por el momento la misma festividad. ¿Qué va a ser para el Día de las Madres, Gustavo? Uh, I am going to work. Oh, really? But it's a day off. Es asueto, but not for you. No. <laughs> All right, so sorry for you, mister. So sorry for you. Let me ask on more people. Let me see. Uh, Carlos Heriberto, what about you? What are you going to do for Mother's Day? I am going to celebrate to my wife. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That's really nice. Really nice of you. Let me ask on more people. Uh, Gabriela Eunice, tell me, I will change the special day. Tell me, what are you going to do for your birthday? Nothing. <laughs> Why not? Why nothing? What happened? I don't celebrate. Don't you don't like celebrate. It. You don't like it. Don't All like right. It. All right, let's change the, the, the festivity then. What are you going to do on your next vacation? Pardon? What are you going to do on your next vacation? I'm going to sleep. All right, that's nice. Good plan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Maria Magdalena, I have a question for you. Tell me, what are you going to do for Father's Day. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do for Father's Day? Mm, nothing. Really? <laughs> no, why not? <laughs> uh, no tengo papá ahorita. <laughs> All right, no problem. But, but in general, right? Pero aunque tal vez el caso, 
eh, no amerite, no, pero sí. va a hacer algo usted, okay. o sea, va, va a descansar, va a dormir, okay. va a ver tele. Ajá. Ok, ok. Uh, I am going to watch TV. To watch TV. All right. Thank you so much. I take that one. Thank you. Let me ask on the final person at this moment so we can uh, practice on this one. Let me see. Let me see. Other person. All right. Chris, Christian, Geraldo, what about you? Christian, what are you going to do for Christmas? Do you have any idea? I'm going to, to do fiery. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Nice. Are you going to dance in the party? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Ana Noemi, tell me, what are you going to do on your next vacations? Probably um, I am the, the, go to the beach with my friends, uh, with my parents. Mm -hmm going to go to the beach all right that's very really nice that's very really nice of you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right as you may see this is a possible form also to discover information information sorry about future plans right we have the first model to make a confirmation yes no questions and on the other part we have information as open question to discover details. Based on this one, we can generate more question to continue with the conversation and to continue discovering more details. If you notice on that one, right? I asked, what are you going to do for Christmas? Yo pregunté, ¿qué va a hacer usted para Navidad? Y alguien me respondió, I am going to do a party. De, al escuchar esa información, yo formulé otra pregunta para darle seguimiento al plan. Are you going to dance? ¿Y vas a bailar? Hey, yes, I am. Are you going to buy food? Vas a comprar comida? Uh, no, I am not, right? Are you going to, uh, are you going to visit uh, other friends? Uh, yes, I am, right? Based on that one, you can uh, create even more questions to discover more details about future plans. And also you may change on some information as well on the WH questions. Vea que usted puede igualmente En el segundo modelo, después de obtener cierta respuesta, usted puede cambiar la WH question para averiguar más datos. Imagínese si yo le pregunto a alguien, ¿verdad? what are you going to do on your next vacation? I am going to go to the beach, right? Hey, who are you going to go to the beach with? ¿Con quién vas a ir a la playa? I am going to go with my friends. Ah, how many days are you going to stay at the beach? ¿Cuántos días te vas a quedar en la playa? I am going to stay three days. Ah, oh, what are you going to eat? Verá que ahí de una idea podemos incluso nosotros incluir más preguntas para obtener la mayor cantidad de detalles acerca de ciertos planes de cualquier persona. Questions about this info? Questions, questions? Preguntas al momento? No, teacher, thank you. Thank you. What about no on question, the question, teacher? Thank you, thank you for your confirmation. What about the rest? ¿Qué dicen los demás? No les escucho. ¿Será que hay preguntas? ¿Hay dudas? ¿Al momento? I don't have a question. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Perfect. So I will explain what we do at this moment. After checking on this information and socializing this, we are going to discover people's plans, right? And that is part of this one. We are going to be working, as you may see, we work in a small groups and we are going to ask what your classmates are going to do for different dates. And for that one, let me ask, um, let me create, let me, let me see. Uh, I will do it one more. Let's see how many people are we, 25 people. So let's make some, groups. I will try to accommodate you in pairs so you can work in this activity like that. Voy a tratar de incluirles en grupos de tal forma que estemos en pareja, ¿verdad? Que, que estemos dos personas por sala porque usted me va a averiguar los, eh, los planes a futuro de su compañero, ¿ok? Va a formular 
si usted gusta la pregunta general, what are you going to do? Y usted le da una referencia de tiempo para que la persona de detalle, si usted pues pueda incluso generar más preguntas de a partir de eso. Okay. Trate de preguntar, trate de dar la mayor cantidad de detalles y cuando regresemos a la sala principal, pues vamos a darle la oportunidad a varios de ustedes para que nos puedan contar los planes de sus compañeros. Así que eh, ahora lo voy a poner en pareja para que no sea tan complicado recordar tanto dato de alguien más, ¿verdad? sino que vamos a trabajar en pareja y usted pues se recuerde y puedan, podamos en este caso reportar después los planes de nuestros compañeros. ¿Questions for this practice? ¿Preguntas de lo que vamos a realizar en estos momentos? No, teacher. Yo, teacher. Dígame, dígame. Yo, yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. este, referente a las preguntas que nos dio es eh, a lo que vamos a preguntar, ¿verdad? Correcto. Uh -huh. Ok. Correcto. Okay. Vamos a utilizar los modelos que ya vimos por acá. Me voy a regresar tantito por acá. Esos modelos son los que vamos a utilizar. Si gusta usted, eh, pudiéramos iniciar con el segundo modelo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué vas a hacer para tu cumpleaños? Por darle un ejemplo. Y la persona le dice, I am going to celebrate. Por darle un ejemplo. Hey, entonces, are you going to eat cake? Are you going to, are you going to wear special clothes? Te vas a, vas a vestir algo especial. Y de ahí usted puede ir sacando más preguntas para averiguar. O si no, igualmente, pues puede utilizar el primer modelo. No hay ningún problema. Are you going to cook tomorrow? Y ahí podemos sacar más datos y más información de planes a futuro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank perfect. Thank All right. You. My pleasure. I will give you approximately 10 minutes for you to discover plans share information, and try to collect as much information as possible in these groups, all right? Vamos a tener 10 minutos aproximadamente para recolectar información de los compañeros. Así que les animo a que estemos ahí pendientes y tratemos de dar la mayor cantidad de detalles. Si de pronto, ¿verdad? Porque a veces en los planes usted dice, es que no sé si lo voy a hacer, ¿va? entonces no voy a hacer nada. Entonces le preguntan, what are you going to do for, for Christmas? Ah, nothing, no voy a hacer nada. Entonces, ya terminó la participación. Invéntesela. Invéntesela el objetivo que usted practique. A este momento no sabemos si la, el plan se va a llevar a cabo. Eso es algo que no podemos determinar en este momento. Pero, eh, por cuestiones de práctica, usted invéntesela. ¿verdad? Nadie lo va a andar fiscalizando a ver si de verdad lo va a hacer. O, hey, vos me dijiste que ibas a hacer esto en Navidad y no lo estás haciendo. No, nah, don't worry. Nadie le va a decir eso. Así que usted... Eh, de la mayor cantidad de detalles. Ese es el objetivo de nuestra práctica. All right. So let's get started. Thank you so much. And I will be checking on you. ¿verdad? Le voy a visitar ahí a algunos de ustedes para ver cómo lo estamos haciendo y asistirles si es necesario. Let's begin. Thank you so much. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh, uh, quedé sin grupo. All right, no problem. Let me see in this uh, one. All right, let me assign to one group. Le asigno en estos momentos a un grupo. Mm -hmm. Está bien.
Vaya. What are you going to do for your birthday? Eh, me está preguntando qué voy a hacer. ¿Qué? ¿Birthday? Verde, cumpleaños. cumpleaños. Um, en español. No, um, en inglés. Inglés. <laughs> oh, my, eh, my birthday. My birthday. Es, I, mm -hmm. I am going to. Ah, mm -hmm. ah perdón, perdón. I am going to, to my birthday. Y. Celebrity. Celebrity. I am celebrate. going to celebrate. Ajá. Celebrate. I am going to celebrate. ¿Qué más va a hacer? Cuéntenos. Siempre eh... seguimos con el modelo. I am going to. Y después incluimos un verbo. ¿verdad? El primero estuvo bien. Celebrate. ¿Qué más va a hacer? Cuéntenos. Eh, I am going to my family. Eh, pasarle eh, en familia. I am, algo. I am going to be with my family. Voy a estar con mi familia. I am going to be with my family. I am going to we. To be. El verbo be. I am to going be. to be. Ajá. Uh -huh, to be with my family. To be with my family. Eh, I am going to be my my friend. Mm -hmm. To be with my friends, uh -huh. uh, uh. Eh, pajarla, pajarla bien. No. I am going to have a good time. I am going to have to have a good time. To have a good time. Time. Uh -huh. Time. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, and <laughs> All right, that's good, that's good. Now you may ask a question to Stephanie. Ahora puede preguntarle usted a Stephanie para ver qué planes tiene ella. Usted escoge la fecha, ¿verdad? Puede preguntarle, what are you going to do for? Y de ahí le incluye una fecha especial, ya sea Christmas, eh, le puede decir for your birthday. Ahí usted decide. Eh, what, what are you going to do Christmas? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I'm going to spend with my family hmm? and maybe go out with my friends. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, where are you planning to go out? Um, probably to a resta restaurant to eat, but I don't know where exactly. All right, that's fine, that's fine. But at least you have an idea. ¿verdad? Es posible que ya tiene una idea que va a ir a un restaurante. All right, perfect, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Continue asking questions, all right? You continue asking for different dates so you can report on more information. Les animo a seguir eh, practicando y pueden escoger alguna otra fecha, ¿verdad? Ya hablaron del cumpleaños, pueden hablar for Christmas, on your next vacation. Pueden incluso preguntar que qué van a hacer el otro fin de semana, qué vas a hacer mañana, what are you going to do tomorrow? Y la persona pues igualmente puede brindar detalles en, esta, en, en, en ese tipo de preguntas. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Entonces, All right. muchas Thank gracias, you. gracias, gracias. Thank, Thank you. you. ¿Mm? Ah, de verdad. Sí, sí, es a like. Ah, de... Yellowstone. Very... 
Ya lo está. It's so very interesting. Interesting. Yes. Eh, so for temperate. Uh, do you see in Netflix? No, it is in yeah, yes, it's in Netflix, but I am the download is my computer and I see the episode uh -huh. in my yes, yes, yes. Hi teacher, I am I am speak to I am talking to the movie. Hi. The problem Hello, that's teacher. fine that's fine <laughs> there is no problem i am happy to enter and to listen to you speaking english so that's fine continue go ahead okay. teacher uh, wh when is your birthday my birthday is on february 3rd oh i just passed yeah you're pretty <laughs> happy you know, oh, the other I, years. <laughs> yeah next I, year i, rem bro. I remember <laughs> and, and what about and what about you, Carlos? When is your birthday? My, my birthday is November twelfth. It's on twelfth November. It's, right? Remember on. Uh, okay, right? It, my birthday it's on November twelfth. Twelfth. All 12th. right, that's fine. And what about for you, Anna Noemi? When is uh, your birthday? My birthday is on October sixteenth. All right, so you are missing on your birthday this year right we, we are coming to your birthday that's nice tell <laughs> me what are you going to do for your birthday Anna Noemi any idea um probably I am telling to Carlos uh, I am uh, buy my gift myself <laughs> I like this <laughs> excellent that's good that's good <laughs> Pero le gustan eh, sus regalos. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Ay, ¿cómo, se dice, ¿Cómo se dice ahorrar? Ahorrar dice? sería el verbo save. I am safe for this, this date. <laughs> ah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's nice. It's good. It's good to treat yourself, right? To give something yes. for yourself. Excellent. Yes. That's, for that's the fine. modern days, too. I am safe the Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, excellent. And do you have an idea about what you are going to buy for yourself? Uh, no, I don't know, but I like it so much the um, uh, clothes or shoes or makeup. I like the makeup or the somebody on my hair. All right. I, I <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. That's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and, what, and what about you, Carlos? What are you going to for your birthday? Uh, I'm going to, I think, celebrate with my family. It's uh -huh. much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think so. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna celebrate. Yes. Oh, that's fine. And when you celebrate with your family, are you going to celebrate in your house or are you going to celebrate in a restaurant in a special place? In my house. Yes, in my house. All right, all right. All right, thank you so much. Now, people, I just give you more time for you to continue practicing and try to also discover more plans about what people have in mind. Right? Congratulations uh, thank you. Thank and you, thank teacher. you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Okay, classmate, um, okay. what are you going to um, do the tomorrow? Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, How are you doing? <laughs> Lo veo algo asustado, afligidos. What happened? Aquí viendo, viendo que preguntar estamos, dicha. Se nos agotan las opciones. Híjole, ya hablaron de todo. Estamos sin ideas. All right, uh -huh. all right. All right, no problem, no problem. All right, let me see. Let me ask you just uh, a, a quick question on this one. Fatima, tell me, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to... A uh, word, um, only work. Work, <laughs> work, work, and work. <laughs> yes. All right, I understand. What about for you, Cesar? What are you going to do? But next weekend, the siguiente fin de semana, Cesar. What are you going to do? I am going to study for university. Oh, interesting. Are you going to have an exam? 
no, I, I am not. All right, but you you always study for 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 anything, right? Yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good habit. That's a good habit. Thank you so yeah. much. And Christian, tell me, what are you going to do after this English class? Uh, I'm going to study. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And what are you going to study? Uh, I'm going to practice English. All right, all right. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you, thank you. You know, we have some work in the platform, so probably you may start on that one, right? Or continue in that case, right? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Is there any question about this practice? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, right. teacher. Thank you, thank you. You're doing nice. Thank you, thank you. At this moment, people will return to the main room just to have the final practice about this moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, teach. All right, all right. Thank you so much, people, for the time in the practice. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, just before we finish on today's session, let me ask on some of you to report on ideas about what you discover about your classmates' plans, all right? Let me see. Uh, let's begin by checking on... Herson Antonio, Herson Antonio, hello, hello. Tell me, Herson, what are Jose Samuel's plans? Okay, uh, Samuel prepares a special dinner for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, we'll work on Monday's day mm -hmm. and visit the beach on the next vacation. All right, it's going to be so. All right, thank you. That's a nice report. Thank you so much. Let me see on Maria Magdalena. Tell me, Maria Magdalena, what is Elian going to do? What are his plans? Uh, Elian, his, uh, sí, verdad. Elian, his go, plans. Ajá, Elian, ajá, podemos decir, Elian is going to. Y de ahí vamos uh, ya con la información. Ok, Elian. He's go to uh, buy a gift for his mother uh, in Mother's Day. Elian will not eat after this class. Elian will sleep all day in his bed, and Elian will not walk in the park tomorrow. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, that's really nice. Let me ask on more people to continue reporting. Uh, Jan C. Sarai. What can you tell me about Gabriela's plans? Bueno, yo le pregunté what you going to do for the mother mm -hmm. and she's going to make a diner. Le pregunté mm -hmm. what you going to do for Christmas. She's going to eat tamales. Oh, that's perfect. All right, that's cool. Dinner, to prepare dinner and to eat tamales. That's nice, 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 nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me ask on more people. Let me see uh, Brian, Brian Isaac. What about the plans for Oscar Armando? What can you tell us? Uh, Oscar, Oscar is going to, hmm? Oscar, is, Oscar is going to send a card. Mm -hmm. Christmas, mm -hmm. on, on the Christmas, and Oscar is going to sleep more late. Um, uh, Oscar is going to sleep later. Later, uh -huh. yeah. um, 
Uh, Oscar, Oscar is going to uh, eat cake, eat, eat cake mm -hmm. uh, later. All right, that's nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your report. I appreciate that. Now, I have the chance for... Tell me, tell me, go ahead. Eh, una pregunta. Dígame. Éramos tres personas mm -hmm. eh, eh, las que estábamos ahí. Oh, La correcto. pregunta es si a uno de ellos se le podría preguntar qué está haciendo o, o bueno... Por ejemplo, is Maria, uh, a Brian le preguntáramos, is Maria going to study today? ¿No se puede? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí es posible, es posible. Siempre estamos utilizando el, el futuro, nada más que a quién le hacemos la pregunta, eh, la persona va a reportar un plan de alguien más. Exacto, ¿verdad? No es como, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer vos tal día? ¿verdad? Entonces sí. ahí yo respondo bien personal, ¿verdad? me lo preguntan a mí y es información mía. En ese caso... La pregunta sí se le hace a una persona, pero el dato tiene que ser de alguien más. ¿verdad? She is going to, o yes, she is going to, or yes, she is, or no, she is not. ¿verdad? O en el caso que usted pudiera preguntar, what is she going to do? ¿Qué va a hacer ella? Entonces yo le respondo con los planes de ella. ¿verdad? Es como que yo doy información de un tercero, pero sí se puede okay. utilizar. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. Thank you so much. I will give the chance for one person at this moment to volunteer and to express some ideas about the plans. Ya escogí a ciertas personas yo. Quisiera darle la oportunidad si es que existe algún voluntario que quisiera compartir información que descubrió de sus compañeros. All right, before we leave, any volunteer, algún voluntario? Only one, no problem, no. No, solo uno, no problem. <risa> My goodness, si es que es, si nos estamos hasta sordo, me estoy quedando a decirme, teacher, ya, 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 Perfect, perfect. She is going to, uh -huh, Okay, she is going to cook tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, in your birthday, uh, she, she's going, she's going to celebrate with your family. All right, all right. Uh, they, they are going to eat lunch together mm -hmm. and cook the cake. Ah, that's nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Just to help you up on this one, when we report information about other person, in this case, we say on uh, with her family, right? Not with your family. Nada más cambiar por ahí un pequeñito okay. detalle con el adjetivo posesivo, ¿verdad? Porque como se expresaba la idea, que digamos que si me decía, she is going to celebrate with your family, es como que ella va a celebrar con su familia, con mi familia, con la suya, teacher. Entonces, así se entiende la idea. Tendríamos que decir el su de ella. O oh, Jamie, se puede a mi familia, Jamie. No, es posible. It's possible, right? Vea que es posible. Va a depender del contexto. I don't know. Que... I don't know. All right, no problem. <risa> Va a depender del contexto que quisiéramos dar. Pero si es la familia de ella en específico, entonces mencionamos her family. Gracias el adjetivo posesivo. Y de ahí estamos bien con la idea. Muchas gracias, Marvin. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you teacher. Thank you. Well done. Me llega, me llega. Esa es la idea que igualmente yo sé que todos practicaron en clase, en, los, en las mini salas. Pero igual, si se nos da la oportunidad, démosle. Recuérdense que la práctica es lo que nos va a ayudar a nosotros a seguir mejorando. ¿verdad? Ese es el objetivo por el cual nosotros tenemos práctica. Thank you so much. Now, before we leave, we are going to check on attendance one more time. And after that, we are dismissed. Now, when you listen to your name, please, you know what to do. A verbal confirmation that you are part of the class. Let's start. Uh, Alberto Enrique. Present. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Present, teacher. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Brian Isaac. Present. Thank you. Carlos Fernando. Present. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Heriberto. Present. Thank you, Carlos Manuel. 
Present. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro. Present. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Lisset. Present. Nice. Uh, Christian Gerardo. Present. Nice. Good. Uh, Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Eliane Heriberto. Present teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Stephanie Giselle. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Eunice. Gabriela. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Gerson Antonio. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Perfect. Uh, Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Marcos Javier. Present teacher. Great. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Perfect. Uh, Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Gustavo García. Present. Nice. Thank you. Jan Cisaray. Present. Perfect. Uh, Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you so much, people, for your verbal confirmation on this. And with this part, we finish on the session number two. I appreciate on your collaboration and disposition to practice. And I hope you have a good night and a perfect day tomorrow. And see you for the next session, people. Right? Have a good night and you, take care. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good